Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. So let's just take a break for a moment in singing because as, a, as what you can see in my content, I, I just started the relaxing music and then I, the transition is uh, about singing, which is my personal blog, personal blog. <laughs> again and welcome back to my channel so if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so guys first and foremost i would like to thank first my subscribers yay i already got 150 plus subscribers so i am elementary now <laughs> That's what they their term, okay? He uh in the YouTube world. So thank you so much again. I really really appreciate all of your support, guys. We just support each other and help each other, especially uh, small YouTubers like me, the newbies. And also, I would like to thank my viewers. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so is uh i will be going to upload more videos more inspirational motivational videos and more songs that will uplift you whatever problems whatever circumstances that you are expert that, that you are experiencing right now so please stay tuned to this channel thank you hey guys this is Steffi again and as what you can see say hi teddy bear I do have a friend with me. So, let's just talk about me as of the moment because I really don't have any formal introduction about myself. So, my full name is Stephanie Blazer Alano. I am married with one beautiful daughter and I am currently working as a domestic worker here in Kuwait. And my previous work is in a BPO company for the last eight years. And I decided to go abroad because I actually didn't see any growth in a BPO company. And I thought that this is a good idea, worth idea, that I came here. I, I came here far away from my family so this is what we're going to talk about guys on this video our life here as a overseas filipino worker and as well as a domestic worker so we're going to focus in a domestic worker so i can really share to you based on my experience here what we are actually experiencing here so please stay tuned on this channel and welcome again so guys let's just talk about now about domestic workers or OFWs here so this is uh based on my personal experience the one that i'm going to share with you now as a domestic workers or worker okay me specifically me i can really say that it's not really easy guys it's not really easy even if you say that we are just doing a simple household chores washing the dishes cleaning the rooms housekeepings we're just washing the clothes ironing but can you imagine guys you're doing that 24 7 okay others are here I'm just uh, lucky that I do have a nice employers but imagine other domestic workers guys our rest is just only one hour 
then the full rest is when you already go to sleep and then you woke up in the morning early in the morning and then you do the same thing again so sometimes my tiredness I am just only crying guys especially if I'm thinking about my family you're, you're feeling homesick that's the other disadvantages if you are far away from your family okay and right now during this pandemic I can say that others working outside um, the house okay not a domestic worker they are also suffering guys they don't have work they don't have income coming to them if they don't if they don't know how to find earnings they have nothing so can you imagine guys to all the families of the OFWs there domestic workers can you imagine what the, what is really happening right now so just realize to all the families of the domestic workers and OFWs the money that you receive from us from your or from someone who works abroad spend it wisely ika nga nila dugot pawis yung kuhunan namin dito right dugot pawis ang hirap ang hirap talaga guys but yung, alam nyo ba kung ano yung patalakas namin the one that give us strength is all of you all of our families because of course we actually go far away from the Philippines just to provide their needs so there's no problem there's no nothing that we can stop stop us so that we can provide all of your needs even if how tired we are even if how lonely we are even if we feel homesick we don't really have a choice guys we're just laying down crying crying because we miss our family crying because we are so tired but still we should keep on fighting because we're doing this for our better future because we have dreams in life you know you see on the news what's really happening in the domestic workers how many domestic workers OFWs died Speci specifically domestic workers we are just lucky if we do have a very good employer but imagine the other domestic workers if they maltreated abuse right died so on this time it it's really the time to realize that our domestic workers OFWs are actually one of the heroes and I'm really proud to say that I, I am really proud to say that I am a domestic worker I am an OFW so guys my advice to my fellow domestic workers fellow OFWs just stay strong guys don't lose hope stay stay tuned to your dreams okay stay uplift 
in your dreams. And being thankful always, even small or big blessings that came to your life, don't forget to be thankful for that. Especially thank God. Because our powerful weapon is prayer. So don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. Hope is always there. Okay? And to all the families of OFWs, to all the families of domestic workers, always talk to your to the someone who is abroad. Who, your family that is who is in abroad. Because we need your comfort always. We need your love. So instead of waiting for our money that we're going to send to you, why don't you give us a care first before money? Because real talk guys, the one that we actually save here is just the receipt, right? Name it, tell me if that is not true. So, salahat to all of the OFW and domestic workers there that can relate on this video do a thumbs up and comment on this video okay and in my next video we're actually talking about we're going to talk about the power of gratitude of being thankful for the ones that you receive the blessings that you receive in your lives so i hope that this video actually helps you and uplifts you and give you ins information knowledge about our lives here and on the last minute minutes actually on of this video is a motivational quotes that i've actually compiled so i hope that this will going to give you a motivations or inspirations to don't lose hope but keep on trying get up even if we're tired already still get up guys always thank your family okay always thank yourself as well love yourself as well because this is our capital. Okay? So, guys, I hope you love this um, song and the quotes that I'm going to include in this video. And again, please don't forget to subscribe on this channel and always stay tuned because I will going to upload more inspirational and motivational videos. So this is the first blog, personal blog that I've done. So I hope that I give you inspiration on this video. So thank you so much for listening and God bless you all. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.